Welcome to the podcast on science behind wearing the red dot on the forehead called bindi. It seems nowadays bindi is quite a fashion accessory among many international celebrities. In India it is a very common practice among women to wear matching bindi for beauty purpose. But not many know the actual scientific reason behind it. The practice of using bindi on the forehead is not related to any religion or culture. Rather it directly stems from the well-being of our mind and body. The present day bindi is quite different from the original version which is called kumkum and is made from natural and organic materials. Today the bindi has glue a um, kind of peel and stick method of application. Kumkum on the other hand is a red colored dry powder which has to be massaged on the forehead with your finger. We will be discussing kumkum in this podcast rather than the current version of bindi. In ancient times kumkum was applied by both men and women. Men usually applied it on top of sandalwood paste because of its cooling property. Women wore it directly on the forehead. As we know kumkum is applied at the center of the forehead between the eyebrows. The space between the eyebrows is a major nerve point in human body. There are 7 energy vortexes called chakras in a body. Out of these 7 chakras the 6th energy center is called the agnya chakra. We apply kumkum on the agnya chakra which is also referred to as the third eye applying kumkum at this point continuously brings back subconscious awareness to the agnya chakra it is connected to a pituitary gland which is part of the endocrine system and hypothalamus which is part of our nervous system while applying kumkum the agnya chakra is pressed and massaged which stimulates the pituitary gland and hypothalamus pituitary gland is also called the master gland and controls the growth reproduction maturation and other vital hormones and functions in our body hypothalamus deals with our emotions and memory it maintains our body's internal balance known as homeostasis by regulating our heart rate blood pressure and body temperature a blockage in the energy flow in agnya chakra can lead to psychosomatic disorders like anxiety insomnia headache and concentration deficit as i said kumkum is a red colored dry powder let us learn what it is made of Kumkum is made by mixing two natural and organic ingredients turmeric and lime. The lime reacts with a yellow turmeric and it gradually turns red in color within a few hours. When one applies kumkum some amount of turmeric gets absorbed by the skin. Turmeric is a very powerful antioxidant. It reduces inflammation, increases cognitive ability, protects against viruses just to name a few. You can check out our podcast The Golden Turmeric at science-krith.com to learn more about its health benefits. You might be wondering if there's any relevance to the bright red color of kumkum. Actually it is important. Red color has the longest wavelength at around 700 nanometers. It is a warm and positive color associated with energy, passion and our will to survive. Red color enhances our metabolism, increases appetite, reduces depression. and raises blood pressure for hypotensive patients next we will learn what is the correct method of applying kumkum first take a pinch of kumkum powder between your thumb and your ring finger press it with the ring finger on the spot between the eyebrows that is at the agnya chakra then with the ring finger only press and massage it in a clockwise circular motion for 7 to 10 seconds It is usually between um, 1 cm to maybe half an inch in size per your preference. It should be applied every day after bath. Now let us discuss some health benefits of applying kumkum. 1 relieves headaches. The place between the eyebrows is a converging point of numerous nerves and blood vessels. According to the principles of acupressure, pressing and massaging this point for few seconds relieves headache. 2 improves hearing one of the nerves passing through agnya chakra area stimulates the cochlear nerve also known as the acoustic or auditory nerve stimulating the cochlear nerve helps with hearing loss and keeps the ears healthy 3 improves vision and eye health the center point of the forehead is directly connected to the supratrochlear nerve the supratrochlear nerve supplies sensory stimulation to the skin around the eyes and the lower part of the forehead thereby improving the vision and eye health four relieves stress and calms the mind 
The forehead point is closely linked to the pineal gland that produces hormones serotonin and melatonin. Serotonin is the key hormone that stabilizes our mood, feelings of well-being and happiness. Massaging the Agya Chakra daily activates the muscles and nerves in this area thereby calming the mind and the body. 5. Clears up the sinuses. Trigeminal nerve is responsible for sensations in the face. By massaging the third eye, it stimulates the trigeminal nerve, which increases the blood flow to the nasal passage and the mucosal lining of the nose. Thus, it helps in relieving nasal congestion, blocked nose and nasal swelling. 6. Strengthens the facial muscles and helps reduce fine lines. When the supratrochlear artery and vein are stimulated, there is increased blood flow in the in facial muscles. As a result, there is a healthy glow to the skin and marked reduction in wrinkles and fine lines. 7. Relieves fatigue and insomnia. Stress and mental fatigue causes the Agya Chakra to get overworked and disbalanced. Stimulating this point relaxes the face and neck muscles and promotes restful sleep. 8. Boosts memory and concentration. According to both yoga and acupressure, stimulating the Agya Chakra boosts memory and concentration. Sandalwood paste can also be applied here for its cooling and calming properties. Our forefathers knew the importance of the third eye center and its benefits to our healthy, active and balanced life. It is amazing to see how such advanced level of scientific understanding was so practically and easily incorporated in our daily lives. Hope you enjoyed the podcast. We have a list of many such interesting information at science-krith.com. The sea of knowledge is very vast and we encourage all of our Sanskrit community members to share their knowledge so that it not only benefits the individual, but the society as a whole. Thank you for joining us. Have a lovely day. Take care.